Here in the Delta country of Louisiana, where the Mississippi merges with the Gulf, at Pilot Town, 90 river miles below New Orleans, lives a courageous and colorful group of men, the Associated Bar Pilots. Summer and winter, in calm and storm, the bar pilots are on duty, taking ships across the dangerous bars into the river. There, the river pilots take over and guide the craft northward to New Orleans. Always members of the Coast Guard Reserve, the bar pilots enlisted for active duty during the war. Most continued their piloting duties. Others were assigned to combat. Our story is about one of these, pilot Johnny Duval, who returns from combat duty to his home on the Delta. Don't just sit there. Now what do I do? How do you like that? Not even a scratch on your boot. Well, at least you can't sue me for smashing that peanut. Hey, you act like you're scared. I am. Big boy like you. Will that uh, hollow log carry the both of us to Delta Island? Probably. Well, what are we waiting for? I'm going the other way, Cypress Point. Doesn't the word chivalry mean anything to you down here? Or do you still beat your women? All right, if it's money you want. You'll find a pair on the other side of the bayou. Go out on it and thumb a ride to Pilot Town. Somebody there will take you to the island. I guess I lost my temper. Sorry. Is there a boat I could rent at Cypress Point? Or a phone I could use? I don't know. I've been away. There used to be a phone. Come on. Get him. Were you in the Navy? Coast Guard. Uh, well, why did... Uh, this, um, the Cypress Point place, what's it like? Oh, like any other bayou settlement. A few houses, store. Not much to come home to, is it? I mean, after what you've seen, cities and strange places. I like it. How can you know until you get back? I was born here. I grew up here. That's how I know. And it's peaceful. You don't think much of it, do you? <laughs> oh, don't tell me the swamp grows on you. Or uh, maybe it does if you see it through the eyes of someone else. Perhaps you'll show me around. I'm going to be busy for a while. But I know a swamp boy will show you the whole Delta country for a buck. He's coming! Johnny Duval!
too much noise. But Johnny's back. He's coming. Grandmere. Grandmere, it's Johnny. Grandpa, it's Johnny. Johnny the Valley's home. Oh, he should let us know he's coming. Grandpa, Grandpa, the net, put it away. Grandma, coffee. You crab and shrimp and okra, Tim. Run in kitchen, make for him gumbo. Nothing for us, Johnny, too good, eh? There's no use you stick around, Mike. You don't hear. Johnny, he's back. I hear good. I go, my Tony. Pretty soon he gets tired from by you, I come back. You think he stay? You think you be good enough for him? You think he ma... You think he marry with you? But I keep my promise, Tony. I marry with you. Get out of here. Mike Calavit, you get out of here. Okay, okay, I go. Do I look all right, Grandpa? Johnny will have eyes only for you. Run now, little chicken. You've been away a long time, Johnny. Good to see you once again, Johnny. Tony, what's the matter? Can't you smile? I'm home. Who's that? She didn't say. I hate to interrupt, but who could I see about a boat? Johnny! Hey, Mia! <laughs> my friend, my good friend, Johnny. <laughs> the lady wants to hire a boat. Mademoiselle likes oysters. What's that got to do with it? The only boat available, Mademoiselle, she's loaded with them. Where is it? Mia. Uh, Anatole! Siriac, Tio Hio, Felicites, Abo! <laughs> I am the father, me. <laughs> oh, there's plenty more. <laughs> Felicite, you go and find my Kalowitz for Papa. We'll get him, Papa. Good, good. Yeah, Everyone, away, quick, Papa. please. <laughs> find my Kalowitz. Beautiful. <laughs> Mademoiselle can use his boat. Thanks. Mr. Duba. Ah. Oh. Pardon me. Thanks for the ride. City people come down here and make fun of us. Forget it. Oh. Come in with me now. I have something to show you. But I'm still wet. Oh, water never hurt anyone. Come on. I'll go and finish the coffee. Hello, Mike. Hello. Where is the uniform? Don't have any medals to pin on it? I see Captain Pierre yesterday. He asked somebody when you coming back to work. He still think you can handle ship. Mike, you shut your big mouth. What I say wrong? Any going back to piloting over the bar? Scared? One little accident? Mike, you go on. If he wants to fight with me, let him. Go away. <laughs> Don't fight with him, Johnny. He's a bad one. If you beat him, you'll wait for a chance to kill you. I have no reason to fight him. What he said was true. Oh, he's just mad because the Coast Guard wouldn't take him and they made you an officer. He's jealous. Jealous of me or you? Both of us, together. Forget him. Now what were you going to show me? Come on. For the best bar pilot in the whole world. But we'll try it on. No, Tony. 
I couldn't pilot an oyster lugger across the bayou. But Captain Pierre, he expects you. Pierre will understand. So will your grandfather. They're sailors. They know what happens to a man when he loses a ship. I lost one and I lost a lot of men. But, but that was a battle. It wasn't your fault. Whether it was or not, I have no confidence. Piloting is out. Would you throw me over for Mike if I'm not a pilot? I don't care what you are, as long as you stay. Pierre will find something for me to do. If not, I can always make a living running a line of traps. John is all right. We've just got to help him get back on his feet, that's all. His superior writes me that physically he's okay, but mentally, mm -mm. He blames himself for losing that D.E. No one else does. It was just one of those things that happened in combat. But now he's scared of ships, scared of responsibility. I had a talk with him, and he's willing to come back. But as a boatman. Oh, no. Why, he's the best pilot around here. Why, sure, we all know that. A boatman. Why not let him sweep out the joint? I know what I'm doing. And you've got to hand it to him. He has pride, and yet he's willing to row you guys back and forth. Well... What do you want us to do, Pierre? He's on that mailboat that's coming in now. You figure out how to act. Give the guy a chance. If he's no good, we can always feed him to the garfish. Johnny, you be yes, the How are you, old man? Glad to see you, man. <laughs> I'd just as soon take your turn, Pete. No, it's nothing. By the time I get out of there, I'll be okay. Let's shove off, Johnny. What's the matter, sir? Just a stomach ache. Come on. doing, sir? Me? <laughs> I'm fine. Going to be fun tonight, eh? How do you know? Itches a little bit in my right ear. When going to be damp, always itches me that ear. <laughs> That's better than the barometer. <laughs> you laugh, but when we get outside the river, you see. Captain Daly wants you, sir. Quick. What's the matter, Captain? You sick? It's getting worse. Get me some water. Maybe we ought to go back. No, no, I'll make it. I don't think you ought to take the chance, sir. We haven't got time to go back with somebody else. Yelling for a pilot for two hours. Let him yell. It's not that important. It's only a yacht. Yeah, the sweetheart. The man that owns it throws a lot of weight around New Orleans. It's that important. Give me a hand, John. Tim, get my jacket and bag. I still think we ought to go back. They may have to throw a line around me, but I'll, I'll get aboard. Let me sit down a minute. I'll be all right. He can't make it. Ain't no cans in this business, Johnny. Especially when a ship is sitting out there. He's got to come in. She can wait. Captain Daly, he's got him a job to do. We do it sick or no sick. If I was on the slate, I would do it. If there was bad storm, we have some excuse, but <laughs> a little fog.
Permission, sir? Permission granted, sir. What are you doing in that? I still hold a pilot's commission. Now, John. Bill, come here. Bill, you're going to do some rowing. Yes, sir, Johnny. Wish me luck. The best. over that sickness quick. Eh, Captain Daly? Must have been something I ate. Those boys come aboard in a hurricane. I could do it tonight. Why don't you try it, Dad? Pilot Duval, sir. The I, uh... swamp boy. Where's your parole? Lieutenant. Father, this is Mr. Duval. So he said. I must say you took your time getting here. I'm in a hurry. Let's get underway. Oh, he's really not as bad as he sounds. a safe course. But how do you know... Echoes. When... They bounce back and tell us how far off we are. No, the other day Keep I... Keep quiet. Thought... I'm trying to listen. Who do you think you... I'm in charge of this ship as pilot. You can't keep quiet. Get out. Don't you dare order me around, you big bad man! <laughs> I'll take over myself. Good job, sir. We're in the river. Yes, sir. We're in. New on the job? No, but I've been away. First trip this time? Takes a man a while to get back in the swing. I brought her in, didn't I? Okay, pilot. I'll hold her along. Sorry I was so abrupt, Miss Hilton. Abrupt? So that's what you call it? I was seeing ghosts. What kind of ghosts? Ships. Ships that weren't there. But I won't see them anymore. Good night. Yeah. What's this for? For the ride, remember? I can't keep it. Good night. Oh! Hurt yourself? Not badly. Help me up. Oh, 
Johnny Duval. That's right, Peyton. How are you? Fine. I see you got your commission back. Temporarily. Captain Peyton, river pilot. Or, uh, do you prefer bar pilots? Now, that depends. Well, if I do say so myself, I think it was a pretty good performance. <laughs> Better duck out. I think I hear him. Bye. What are you doing up here in pilot's quarters? Coming back. I did some thinking, sir. And? I think I was framed. <laughs> you made it, didn't you? Yes, sir. I made it. I knew you would. All you wanted was a chance to kick that hoodoo in your mind overboard. I'll fill out your papers. By Monday, you'll be back in active duty. And I recommend that he be recommissioned as lieutenant in the Coast Guard Reserve with specific duties as bar pilot. Once more, early round, eh? Yeah. You're gonna behave yourself tonight, Mike? Listen to him, will you? Don't I always behave myself? Last time, cayenne pepper you spilled on the floor. I spill it? You see me? Time before, it was horse hair, cut up very fine. <laughs> <laughs> she makes some scratch, don't it? <laughs> you bring Tony to the dance, eh, Mike, tonight? If you get a lieutenant's cap, maybe she go with you. Enough. Stop now. Sit down, big mouth. Say, Mike, you've been around Delta Island the last couple of days. Why? A man warned me off my trap line. He said, private lands now. No more hunt, no more trap. Yeah. What man? The man that worked for Hilton. Why, for you let him run you off? Oh, well, you have it gone. I only got a bunch of traps. You only got a bunch of traps. He don't run me off. If you see Tony, tell her to save a couple of dances for me. You talk all the time. You keep on talking like that, he's going to start a fight. Me? I'll be right behind Johnny Duval. Au revoir, Captain. See you tonight at the dance. A present for me? Oh. Hello, Grandma. Hello, Johnny. Come in, come in. <laughs> Tony, she's dressing. She makes herself beautiful for me. Mike Kalowich, why don't you go home? <laughs> Johnny. Huh? The big fish come, the little fish go. Keeping him around in case I didn't show. Oh, no, Johnny. You know Tony better than that. Tony tell him go away. He just sit around like dead catfish on sandbar. Mm. Hush, Grandmere. I like to dance. If you'd been on duty... Oh, jealous, huh? I like that. Don't stop. I should go without you. Oh, Johnny, wait. Beautiful, just beautiful. When you finish with him, I have something to show you. Oh, lace, Grandpa. Real lace. I've been saving it. Skip it, give it to me. For my daughter, you say, when she married. You don't know your mother is dead then, Tony. It. it is yours. Oh, oh no, no, Tony, it's bad. If your man sees wedding dress before wedding, it's going to be trouble. Oh, fairy tales, Grandmere. Fairy tales. Come on, Tom. you 
was going to bring Tony here to dance, Mike. Shut up, you. Why, this is just like any other dance. What did you expect, a brawl? No, silly. Square dances. Pokers. Give us time. We'll catch on to these newfangled things. Hello, Swamp Boy. Tony! Hello! Hiya, Bob. Did you ask her to come? Her? Oh, her. Yeah, sure, just in case you were busy. I like to dance. We'll dance with her, then. <laughs> she prefers river pilots. You didn't say hello. Hello. Hello, Hal. Drink? Of course. You don't know how surprised I was the other night when you came up the ladder of the yacht. Oh, uh, Miss Hilton, Miss Russo. Hello. There I've been on that ship, cooped up for days, with nobody to talk to. That is, nobody nice. I was so utterly bored I could have screamed, and suddenly over the rail you came. <laughs> was I ever surprised? We dance this one, eh, Tony? Come on. And to think that the first time I saw you, I thought you were just a swamp boy. That why you asked me to bring you here? Maybe. Look, I don't like being a stooge. You're not Hal. You're an angel. Shall we dance? Where's that drink? <laughs> Tony, you have a good time, huh? Mike, he's having a wonderful time. Sorry, Tony. What you trying to do? Now, wait a minute. You dance crazy like you pilot boat. Don't walk away from my calibit. That Mike, he don't never listen. We're going home. What's the matter with you letting Emil do your fighting for you? Ah, uh, what's happened to you, Duval? I knew you'd forgotten how to handle a ship, but I thought you still know how to use your fists. You know why I couldn't mix with him? Or with you either, as much as I'd like to. Worried about the uniform? I'll take it off. Johnny, you're not going to let him talk to you like that and get away with it. Why don't you shut up and take your hands off of him? Were you addressing me? Nobody else. What right have you got to come down here and make trouble? Egging him on so he'll fight and maybe get kicked out of the Coast Guard. Why, I'll thank Why don't you... you get out? You don't belong here. You're right. I don't belong here among this. Neither does he. All right, then take him with you if you think you can. Tony. Maybe I will. That shouldn't be very difficult. Why, you swamp rat. <laughs> will you take your hands off me? Get her out of here. I can't hold this one much longer. Did you ever wrestle an alligator? What they need is a little cooling off. being a sport. And you didn't act a bit nice to Miss Hilton. Oh. Oh, I suppose you wanted me to act like her. 
There I was, cooped up on that ship for days, with nothing to do but, but count my shabby diamonds and no one to talk to but a couple of awful millionaires. I was so utterly bored I could scream. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know you loved me that much. I don't. I hate you. You were fighting over me. And look, look what you've done to my best dress. It's ruined. Oh, I'll buy you a dozen dresses and hats and coats and shoes and everything that goes with it. You know what I'm going to do? No, and I don't care. Well, if you feel that way about it. What are you going to do? Marry you. When? Well, let's see. This is Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, I get my two weeks off. Thursday. Oh, Fog is thick as glue tonight. Make you nervous? Little. If it's too foggy, let her lay out there till morning. It's Thursday tomorrow, Tim. Tony's papa was pilot. If you show up late, she forgive you. You feel good now, eh? About piloting. Sure, fine. I'm all right now. I knew it comes out all right. Pilot Duval reporting, sir. I am Captain Sorensen. This is Mr. Baxter, ship's owner. He had us worried. Figured maybe he was going to leave us out here all night. That's just what I'm going to have to do. Yeah, but you can't do it. Want to get stuck in the mud? Nonsense. A little fog never held us up before. Now, see here, young man. We've been sitting out here in the Gulf for a week with a busted engine. We've got a cargo of bananas that are getting riper by the minute. Another day and I'll lose my shirt. Would you rather lose your ship? New man, ain't you? I've been on the bar a while. What'd you say your name was? Duval. Oh, yes, Duval. Now I recollect. Well, it looks like we don't go in. From what I hear, Duval is careful. Mighty careful. I advise against going in tonight. And lose a cargo? I want to get in tonight as much as you do. But I'm not taking chances. Of course you're not. Man scared of a little fog can't help it. And Duval's got reason to be scared. He lost a... Now, calm down, son. Calm down. Oh, I never heard of such a thing. Sending us an apprentice. Radio the pilot station. Tell him we want another man. You insist on going in? I'll take you. If we run up on the bar, we'll hear you yelling the Baton Rouge. Half speed ahead. We'll start yelling. Maybe he knows what he's talking about. Now, don't you start worrying. I've steamed up the pass in fog so thick you could walk on it. Duval's all right. A bit nervous since he came back, but he knows the passes like a clock. He won't pile us up. Better go north or half-west. North or half-west, sir. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes, sir. Where are we? I asked, where are we? It's okay, Captain. I've got her. That's fine. You want to take over? Then take over.
you hear something? I'm not sure, sir. little goose or I'll stick you. I'll answer. No one must see you till wedding tomorrow. Shots on the bio. Three gram here. That means somebody's dead. Johnny. No, child. Not Johnny. My Tim. Oh, Grand Air. Duval? Oh, yes, he went home several days ago. Home? Why, he couldn't. I'm sorry, he went home. We just came from his home. He isn't there. You're his sister? We were going to be married. Oh. Uh, wait just a moment, please.
Will you look in the dismissed file, see who signed out for John Duval? Oh, thanks. A lady had him moved to her home, a Miss Hilton. Thank you. We came for Johnny. He's upstairs asleep. He can't see anyone, doctor's orders. He can see me. I'm sorry. How is he? He's going to be all right. At first it was awful, just lying there. But now he knows me. Why didn't you call us? Why didn't you tell me? Why, it's been two weeks since he was hurt. Naturally, we thought that you... And when he regained consciousness, he said he didn't want to see anyone. You're not telling the truth. I found him in the charity ward of the French hospital. If he'd waited for you, he'd been dead. We didn't know where he was. The last I saw him, he asked for an extended leave and went away. You're, uh... Yeah, Moise, chief pilot. Oh, I see. And now you're worried about him. <laughs> you should have worried before. Forcing him back to the work he feared and hated. It's your fault he's here. And yours. He doesn't want to see you, any of you. He never said that. How do you think he was hurt? He'd been drinking for days. We're giving him a chance to get back on his feet. I'm going to see him. When he asks, I'll send for you. I don't believe you. Come, child. When he's better, he'll come back to us. I'll tell him you were here. Mr. DeVal does not wish to speak to anyone. Aren't you being a bit high-handed, Janet? You know he can't go back to them. You mean you don't want him to go back? I've never interfered in your life. That's just the trouble. Does anyone tell you what to do? That's different. You in love with DeVal? You're going at this all wrong. Lies, deceit. One of these days he's going to find out. I'll take that chance. If he walks out on me, I'll be the one who's hurt. I don't like to see you messing up other people's lives. Dad, he's the only man I've ever wanted. Please, Dad, help me. I don't like it. Long distance, please. Delta Island. Don't look so unhappy. Hello, Briggs? Briggs? I'm sending a new man down in a couple of weeks to work with you. That's right. Johnny Duval is his name. Everything else all right? Good. Goodbye. Thanks, darling. Suppose he doesn't go. Just leave that to me. Stop it, you good crap! 
prison. You want to hang? Who going to say I did it? Oh. He don't do nothing. You stupid. Only what they tell him to do. If you want to fight, go fight Hilton. He owns all the free lands now. Ain't nobody going to stop me trapping. No, but if you start shooting people, they're going to stop you from breathing. Hey, Mike, you got your big job there. Them signs is all over the marsh. Big job, big job. Uh, Sit down. You don't talk with Johnny Duval, eh? Why for I want to talk with him? Oh, you don't hear about him. He worked for Hilton. Since which day? Ah, uh, since last week. I see him yesterday with woman. Eh? Uh, Tony is over by Picol Lagoon hunting duck. Maybe she would like to hear about it, eh? Yeah. Yeah, maybe she would. Alex, I'll see you later. Uh. today and you have to come along. Ah, you want to thank me, Tony? For what? <laughs> For to keep you out of jail. You know, it's against law to haunt here. You better go back to your muskrats. Can't. No trap either. No fish, no trap, no haunt. Man makes new rules, Tony. Man's name Duval. Yeah, Johnny Duval. You know, Tony, for a long time we make our living from marsh and swamp. Pretty soon a guy comes along, puts up a sign, it say, keep off. Then we starve. So you friend Johnny Duval, he go to work for him. I don't care who he works for. That's good, Tony. Oh, go on, the ducks have stopped coming since you got here. Maybe in a few days I see, Johnny. Go away. You say the word, Tony. I put a couple of bullet holes in him, throw him in swamp. I said go away. Okay, Tony. Goodbye.
Tony? Will you get my parole? We'll take you. Go on, she's waiting. All right, I'll get it myself. I'll go with you. She's waiting for you. Goodbye. Remember the day we met? You said you were scared. So today you pick a fight with an alligator. That guy Ames picked the fight. I just finished it. I was a scared one today, Johnny. Come over here and I'll tell you why. Someday I might get mixed up with an alligator myself. And I want you around to protect me. Will you stay around? I'll stay. I've known a lot of men, Johnny. I thought I loved one of them. But he went away. For a while, I was dead inside. Then one day, like that, the hurt was gone. Johnny. What was that? Sounded like a shot. Come on, get going, you. Marshal, Angstead. Here we are, sir. Alex, what are you doing here? There were two of them, running a trap line. So what, is that any reason? I'll take care of this, Johnny. Can't you read? Certainly you can read. What's that got to do with These it? men have been trapping and hunting on my ground. I warned them. I put up signs today warning them. Take him down to Point Alahas and have him locked up. Wait a minute. Dad's right, Johnny. It's the only way to keep them off our land. Sure, Johnny, he's right. You lock me up. You help them. They're your people now. Stop us from hunt and trap and let our kids go hungry. As long as you've got plenty of duck for your sport and plenty of muskrat and mink for to make coats for your women. That's enough out of you. Not me. Go on, Alex. Why? What do you care now what happened to Bayou people? He buy our free marsh and our swamp. He say, get out to Bayou people. Find other place. Remember, Johnny, your father and your father's father before you hunt and trap on this land to live. But not you, Johnny. All right, Alex, beat it. Stay where you are. Duval, give Engstead back his gun. I don't need your help. You run away from all of us. Tony telephoned to you. Tony Wright. She tried very hard to see you. But she don't be good enough for you now. Dad, let him go. We'll both go. Johnny, you can't go back. Did Tony telephone? Well, yes, but... And did she write? Oh, now, look, Johnny, I was only trying to help you. Come on, Alex. All right. I tried to make something out of you, but you wouldn't have it. Go back to the swamp where you belong. We're going to stay around here all night and argue. They shove us off the land. They shoot at us. They got the law on their side. The law, the law. All right, old woman. What you want we should do? Go to them and tell them we are sorry. We don't do it again. Put Alex in jail because he'd be a bad boy? You want us to say that? Hilton buy the land. It's his right to say we cannot use it. So we fight him? I remember 15, 20 years ago, we fight other men who buy the marsh. Who win? 
Not us. Emil's right. We get nothing by fighting. We get nothing by fighting. Okay, talk to Hilton. Talk to Johnny Duval. Me? I got a better idea. I don't use the marsh. They don't use the marsh. Emil, I burn it. Shut up, Mike. You work for Hilton, too? Come on. Wait, Mike. Set fire to the marsh and who stop? All of us. Not Hilton. He can buy other land for the hunt. Emil is right. Give Mike a drink. Fire only drives a far away. Fire only drives a far away. Okay, I don't need your help. Call up Johnny Duval. Yeah. Emil, tell him what I'm going to do, you soccer Stop soccer. him! He won't do nothing. Come on, Emil. Get up the rings. Uh, Mike, pull him up. You, you heard him? We hear him before. Mike full of talk. But he don't burn nothing. Give us a drink. gets too excited. Come in. What's the matter? Trouble. Mike is going to Delta Island. He's crazy mad. He'll do anything. Maybe kill Johnny. You, you love Johnny. He can take care of himself. You go tell him. Telephone him. I try. The telephone. All right. I go. Tony, I'm old man. I'll try to stop Mike. But if I don't... Short way through the swamp. I'll go.
Tanker coming down river. You taking her, sir? I wasn't going to, but all the other boys are working. All except you, Johnny. Say the word and your leave is cancelled. Try it on for size. Be back tomorrow, Tony. Goodbye. Goodbye, Johnny. Goodbye. Now wait. Wait, huh? Yeah. 